There's a thin line between failure and success. And talents are great, whether it's exceptional intelligence or above average athleticism, they can get you close, if not right up to that line. But mentorship, representation, and exposure to opportunity, those are the only elements that are going to get you across that thin yet certainly hardened line between the two. You know, I was very fortunate to have gotten advice to seek mentors constantly and that the kind of mentor I would need would change over time. So I've had many along the way that have played different roles in different points in my life, whether it was as a freshman at the academy with uh, James Hall or Harvey White or Jasmine Petty on to becoming a senior and getting my pilot slot and finding older grads uh, like Glenn Gonzalez. The first bit of help he, uh, he gave me was representation. So he showed up on a random picture on my Facebook feed through my network of friends at the time and I saw him standing in front of his F-15 being black and tall uh, with hair like mine and so I shot him a, a message and I said, hey, I want to be just like you. Uh, two or three years from now, how do I do that? Uh, he acknowledged me and he gave me step-by-step -step advice for the next three to four years about how exactly I could do what he was doing right then and there. Our objectives are simple. We want to be a positive impact on our community. We want to make sure we're bringing in a qualified pool of minority cadets. We want to make sure those cadets graduate and then we want to help them in their careers going forward. It's much easier to get through life when you have someone that is already where you want to go. The most inspirational moments come when you see a relationship blossom and you see um, different people take off in different directions that they otherwise would not have. One of the biggest things that you can have as a young person or as a young cadet is exposure. We offer multiple different ways for cadets to get, to get together. For example, our annual Chuck Bush Conference. It's a way to get all of our graduates back and to get all of our cadets in the same room. So we expose people to different career fields, different individuals that they otherwise probably wouldn't have had a chance to meet and get to know each other. Coming from an underprivileged school in Philadelphia where they related to my background, but not necessarily my goals and aspirations. So switching over to the Air Force Academy, um, where everyone related to my life, aspirations, but not necessarily who I am and couldn't relate to me as a human. Way of Life actually helped me out with that. Um, after a while, I didn't even really worry about the culture shock because I had my home um, through WOL and the people in it. To be in this position uh, to help cadets has been amazing experiences. Um, I get phone calls all the time um, once they meet us at these events. So it's merely exposure and putting yourself out there. And then uh, cadets have access and they see someone that looks like you and act like you and could possibly be you in a sense of your career. You face a lot of challenges at the Air Force Academy. You face a lot of challenges in life. So to have someone to help you through tough times or times where you just have a simple question, could make and break a career.